Hi, I'm Anupa and I welcome you all to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. On the auspicious occasion of Ganesh Chaturthi, I am going to be showing you a love recipe which is steamed modak. So let's see what ingredients we need for steamed modak. Rice flour, 2 cups, 1 tablespoon poppy seeds, 1 tablespoon pure ghee, 2 cups fresh coconut, 1 cup jaggery, you can find this in any Indian store, a pinch of salt, 1 teaspoon of green cardamom powder and about 2 cups of water. So let's begin with the stuffing. Uh, the steam modak is stuffed with a filling of coconut and jaggery. The ratio is generally 1 is to 2. So 1 part of jaggery to 2 parts of fresh coconut. So this is the jaggery. The jaggery needs to melt. After we add in jaggery, we'll add in a little bit of ghee, some poppy seeds. This is optional. I would prefer using roasted poppy seeds and mix this till the jaggery melts. This may take about 7 minutes but you need to do this on medium heat so that the jaggery does not caramelize. This doesn't take very long time. Since the jaggery is melting quite fast, we will add in the coconut. And after you add in the coconut, keep mixing. Since jaggery takes a longer time to melt, you can just substitute a little bit of sweetness by sugar. Once all the moisture is evaporated, we need to switch off the gas. And now we need to put this into another bowl so that the filling cools down and we are able to then use it as a filling. Till the coconut mixture cools down, we will make the dough. For this, we need about 2 cups of water. To this, we will add some salt and about a teaspoon of ghee. We just need to cover this and wait till it comes to a boil. The water is almost coming to a boil. Let's add in the rice flour. The rice flour that I am using is a special variety which is only used for modak. It is even finer than the regular rice flour. And of course, it's made with pure basmati rice, which is why it has this lovely aroma. After you mix in, you just need to cover it up for about one and a half to two minutes till all the steam is well trapped inside. And then we will again mix it and cover and cook it. So all this steam which was trapped has escaped. But now what we need to do is just splash some water over this like this. Mix it once again. Do not over mix it. Don't try to form a dough cover it once again. We have to mix this very well. Again, we'll have to splash some water, close the lid once again. This process we have to follow at least three times. We need to transfer this entire mixture onto a plate like this. But we have to knead it while it is very hot because we will not be able to mix it later. So with the help of some water, we will form a nice and a smooth dough. Keep dipping your hands in water so that you don't feel the heat. And we have to knead this till it is very very smooth. So this may take about 15 minutes but make sure you knead this into a very smooth dough. Apply some oil to your palms and some on the dough and make sure that the dough is absolutely smooth. So this is done. All we need to do is firstly cover it with a muslin cloth and the one that we are going to use we have to divide this and shape it into balls. If you feel while you are doing this the dough is sticking to your hands you could just apply some water or some oil. So after you do this, before you start shaping the modak, you need to get your steamer ready. I have a double decker steamer here, two decks and the water is right here. It's nice and hot. All it's waiting for is the modak. So let's shape the modak. This may be a little difficult for first timers, but once you start practicing, it's not all that difficult. Just make sure you have some oil right besides you and your palms are well greased. After that, take the dough and shape it into a katori like this. Go as thin as possible. Apart from oil, you could also wet your palms with some water and start shaping. You see, I am also thinning the sides at the same time, shaping this into a katori. Once it's nice and evenly done, we just have to put in the filling and after that, to pinch the edges like this to give it its shape, just get all of it together slowly, make sure that there are no cracks on the sides of the modak. Before you place it onto a plate, dip it in water and keep it down. I have my steamer ready. We will place this very gently here. Place another deck of the steamer. This takes about 10 minutes and once it's ready, we will serve it very, very hot with some pure desi ghee. It's about 10 minutes and it's absolutely done, just ready to serve. All you need to do is open the lid, switch off the gas and very carefully serve it onto a plate. So the steamed modak is ready, just serve it right away with a dollop of pure ghee. And I wish all Ganesh Bhakt a very happy Ganesh Chaturthi.